In 2015, the University of the South Pacific introduced a quality of research system. The quality of research is, is essentially about a, a method for uh, uh, analysing the research outputs of staff of the university with the aim of improving the quality and the quantity of outputs uh, in ranked journals. So the university uh, has a system of assessing the different journals and uh, different uh, pub publishers uh, into different categories and we award rankings in relation to each one of them. Those rankings go from A star, which is the highest, through A, B and C. And we rank all publications uh, on those criteria. What we then do is do an assessment of the numbers, the minimum numbers uh, of publications that we expect from staff over a three year period. Now the minimum standards are fairly low, they're not exceptionally high, but we do have some, uh, an understanding of, of what we expect from our staff at different grades, whether they be assistant lecturers, lecturers, senior lecturers, associate professors and professors. And for each grade, there is a different requirement in terms of both the quantity of output and the quality of output. So if you look at something like an assistant lecturer, the expectation for an assistant lecturer is that they have one publication uh, in a ranked journal over the three-year period. Very minimal indeed. If you look at the professor, on the other hand, then we're looking at four publications over the three-year period. But three of those publications need to be in what we call A-star or A-journals. In other words, in the top journals in the field, in the discipline that the member of staff is in. Those um, categories are used then to determine the level of research activity that different members of staff are at. And they range from if they're meeting the performance, need, uh, performance um, expectations or whether a member of staff is below performance expectations or above. And our grades go up to um, exceeding and indeed excellent. Now all of that then feeds into the workloads model for the university. So it helps us have a, a systematic way of looking at the uh, research activity of our staff and the extent to which they are contributing to research outcomes for the university. And what we see overall is a, is a significant increase in the number of high quality publications that are being produced by staff members at the university, well above the um, norms that we ourselves um, uh, put forward in our strategic plan uh, and something we're very pleased about the way in which that is moving forward.